Hello and welcome to another episode of my Productivity Mastery Series. My name is Carl Pauline and today I'm going to introduce you to a psychology concept called implementation intention. Now, one of the problems that we all face is that if we just use a task manager by adding tasks and adding a date and then hoping that we will have time somewhere in the day to get all these tasks done, what you end up finding that happens is that you find you've got 20, 30, 40, 50 tasks to get done the next day. Now, when you look at a list of 30 or 40 tasks, your brain is just going to go, oh, there's no inspiration, there's no motivation, plus it's really difficult to decide what are the most important tasks to do. Now the problem is you're doing this first thing in the morning when your brain is at its freshest, when you are most likely to be at your most focused part of the day. It's such a waste of a very, a potentially an incredibly productive time of your day. So what I'm suggesting today is that you have a look at applying something called implementation intention. Now, if you've read Atomic Habits, David, David, James Clear talks about this in his book, Implementation Intention. But essentially what this means is that you decide the day before what it is that you must get done tomorrow. Now this is a key part, you must get done tomorrow and it needs to be less than three tasks that you are going to decide must happen tomorrow. Now before we go any further, I would just like to give you a brief word from this week's video sponsor. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. With thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, productivity, freelancing and more. Skillshare has classes to fit your schedule and skill level and members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. For example, this course on essentialism by Greg McEwen is fantastic. It has helped me to identify what is important to me so I can focus my time and energy on the essential things in my life. If you're looking for the perfect place to ignite your creativity and learning, then give Skillshare a try. The first 1,000 people to use the link or my code, Carl Pauline, will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Okay, so implementation intention. So what we need to do is we've got to look at our list at the end of the day. This is what I call the daily planning. It's a critical part of the day if you want to become more productive and ultimately less overwhelmed. You look at your list of tasks that you have assigned for tomorrow. You should also look at your calendar to make sure you haven't got a day of back-to-back -back meetings, which means that you're not going to get a lot of tasks done. And what you do is you look at the, your list and say, right, these are the two tasks that must happen tomorrow. And you need to imagine yourself actually getting on and doing them. So if it's, for example, if it's for designing and preparing a presentation for something that you, a meeting you have later in the week, then you would just imagine sitting down at your laptop or your computer and designing the presentation. You just mentally picture yourself doing it. Equally, for me, for example, I might uh, say, okay, one of my other most important tasks for tomorrow is to go out and for a run. So I'm just going to think to myself, okay, what clothes am I going to wear? Where am I going to run? I actually make the intention mentally what I'm going to do. And that's really it. Now, the key with implementation intention is that you visualize doing whatever it is you're doing. And it's just a matter of imagining yourself sat at your computer or imagine yourself getting outside and going for a run. It's not, you know, 
anything more complex than that. It's just a visual picture of what you want to get done. But the great thing about implementation intention is, is that you get to, what you're doing is essentially setting up your brain ready for the day ahead. But for me, it's more about applying this to what I like to call my golden 10. The golden 10, if you've ever done my uh, COD course, that's collect, organize, and do, you'll know about the golden 10. Essentially what this means is these are the two tasks, these are the most important must do tasks that you will get done tomorrow, plus eight others that you really should or must or should or probably could get done tomorrow. Those you want to be flagging in your to-do list. So it's basically no more than 10 tasks. And the reason why I recommend that is simply because it's so easy with today's task managers to overwhelm ourselves with 10, 20, 30, 40 tasks. They're not gonna get done. And when you're not doing your task and rescheduling all the time, you essentially just become disillusioned with that whole thing, this task manager. But the beauty of task managers are they do work if you are curating them and prioritizing what must happen. Now, one of the problems I've had when I've talked to my coaching clients about this and when I get lots of emails and messages about this is that, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just really tired. I can't, I don't want to do any planning for the next day. I just want to crash out. Well, I've given this a lot of thought and I realized that, well, okay, first of all, there's a self-discipline issue here. It's not difficult to look at a calendar, look at a task manager and just decide what needs to happen tomorrow. I'm sure every one of us could do that. But one thing that I realize is you don't necessarily have to sit down at a desk with your computer to do this. All you need to do is mentally prepare yourself for the two big things that must happen tomorrow. So, let me ask you a question. When you're brushing your teeth at the end of the day, what are you thinking about? Now, when I've asked other people this, most people, A, can't remember what they think about, or B, say, well, I'm really thinking about nothing. Exactly. So how long on average does it take to brush your teeth? Now, for me, I timed it the other day, it's about three to four minutes. Please, dentist, if that's not long enough, I'm really sorry. <laughs> but it's about three to four minutes to brush my teeth at the end of the day. That is the perfect time to apply implementation intention. All you need to do while you're brushing the teeth, something that you can do automatically without thinking because you've been doing it from a very, very, very young age is just mentally prepare yourself to think what are the two must do tasks tomorrow. Now that could be tomorrow I must finish this report. Great. All you have to do is imagine yourself sat in front of your computer or your iPad or whatever finishing the report. It could be that what you have to do tomorrow is play a round of golf. Great. Imagine yourself on the golf course. Probably imagine with the sunshine. Just imagine yourself having a really good game of golf. Whatever it is, pick two things and just mentally prepare yourself. Imagine yourself. Picture yourself doing it. Now, one other thing that I would add to implementation intention is imagine the time of day you're going to do it. Now, I use implementation intention every single day because I always plan my day. I always pick the two most important tasks that I've got to get done tomorrow. What I generally do is most of my focused work is done in the morning. So when I go to bed tonight, I'm going to be thinking, right, what have I got to get done tomorrow? Well, tomorrow morning, being Sunday, I will have uh, two or three coaching calls. I haven't checked my calendar exactly yet, but I know I've got two at least. And I also need to record my podcast. Great. So all I have to do is imagine myself sat at my desk over there in the office uh, doing the calls, if, I, if that's one of the things that I want to make sure I do well, and just imagine myself in here, in the studio, recording the podcast. That's it. Now, I can do that in the three or four minutes it takes me to brush my teeth. The great thing is when you go to bed, your subconscious mind is doing its thing. You're sleeping, your subconscious mind is preparing you 
for the day. Now, this might all seem like mumbo jumbo to you. It might think, pa, it's never gonna work for me. I challenge you, try it. Just try it for one week. Now, this video is going out on Sunday night, so while you're watching this video, just mentally, mentally, prepare yourself for the two most important tasks tomorrow. Just do it, just think about, imagine yourself doing whatever it is that you must do tomorrow. Okay, and try that again on Monday night and Tuesday night. Do it while you're brushing your teeth because it's one of those things. Again, if you take the atomic habits, this is about habit stacking. What's the trigger? Well, the trigger is brushing my teeth because everybody does that before they go to bed. So I hope. So what I suggest that you do is as you're brushing your teeth, just mentally picture yourself doing whatever must be done the next day. And don't just confine this to work either. My picture last night when I went brushing my teeth before I came to bed actually was to record these videos and to go out for a run. Those were the two. So I imagine myself running. I'm going actually going to do a tough run today. I'm going to go to the mountain, but that's fine. I'm going to get that done at around about two o'clock. I mentioned, I, you know, I kind of imagine myself doing that and going through the pain. And I also said right at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, I'm going to do these videos. I'm doing it right now. Give it a go, try it. You might just be surprised at what happens. Tell me in the comments below if it really does work for you. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.